In this video, we are going to find integers x and y satisfying this equation, which is 243x plus 198y equals 9. So 9 should be the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. But we want to find x and y, which are integers satisfying this equation. So we need to start with the Euclidean algorithm. So we have to divide 243 by 198. So the quotient is 1. And the remainder is going to be 45. And then we use 45 to divide 198. So we're going to have 198 equal 45. So the quotient should be 4. Okay, because 4 times 45 is, okay, 160 plus 20, so it turns out to be 180. And the remainder turns out to be 18, right here. Then, we divide 45 by 18, so we're going to have 45 equal 18 times 2. So it turns out to be 36, right? And we have 45 minus 36, which is 9. So the remainder is 9. And then we're going to have 18 divided by 9. And it turns out to be 2. And the remainder is 0. That means that 9 is the greatest common divisor of 243 and 198. So by the Euclidean algorithm, what do we have? The greatest common divisor of 243 and 198 is 9. But we, we, but we try to find integers x and y satisfy this equation. Namely, that we need to find a Bessel's identity for this greatest common divisor. So we need to start with the equation next to the last one. And we try to write 9 from this equation. So our 9 becomes 45 minus 18 times 2. And, and we try to write 18 in terms of 198 and 45 times 4. So we got to have, okay, we got to have 45 minus, so 18 becomes 198 minus 45 times 4 and times 2. This one right here. And distribute number 2 into this bracket, so we got to have. 45 minus 198 times 2 plus 45 times 8. Then we're going to have 45 times 9. So we try to simplify the number. So we're going to have plus 198 times minus 2. Okay, what next? So we try to write. 45 in terms of 243 and 191. Then we gotta have 243 minus 191 or 98 and times 9 outside. Yeah. Then what do we have? We gotta have 198 times minus 2. And we distribute number 9. So we gotta have 243 times 9 plus 198 times minus 9, plus 198 times minus 2. And then we gotta have the identity that we want. This one. That means that 9 equal 243 times 9, plus 198 times minus 11. Okay? Now, this is what we have. And then try to make sure that 243 times 9 plus 198 minus 11, the uh, time minus 11, equal to 6. So you need to multiply and, and add this 2 number. Okay. 
So we're gonna have two, four, three times nine. We're gonna have 100, 1,800, 336, 27. We have seven, eight, one, two. Okay. So we're gonna have 2,187 minus which one? 198 times 11. So what do we have? We gotta have one nine eight zero one nine eight. We have eight seven one right here. Okay, and then what do we have? We gotta have one and hmm, one and one, one and two, right? So we gotta have two one seven eight. Well, it seems that it's not going to be six. Okay. okay, let me try this. Hmm. It's not going to be six. Right? Oh, we need number nine, not six. Sorry, we need nine. Okay. So it turns out to be nine, right? It turns out to be nine, okay? I thought it was six is nine. So, so we have x and y satisfying this equation, okay? So our x is 9, and what is y? y is minus 11, okay? And you might find other numbers, other, other numbers other than 9 and minus 11. Okay, and that's it for this video.